Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can connect your Bubble application with the Anaton agent that can stream responses in real time. So just to give you the demo of how this is going to be visible on the front end, I'm here and I've created this agent already that I'm going to walk you through through this tutorial. And this is a this is the agent is connected to my Bubble application and I'm going to send this message to it. And you can see that we are able to get the streaming response in uh, real time and uh, that's look really nice so let's understand how we can set up this in order to build it from the scratch i'm going to create a new application that you will see the description link of the editor in the description of the video and here i've just added the prompt so i'm asking in the ai agent of bubble to build this thing and in the meantime if it is generating the bubble application i'm on any 10 in order to stream the responses so first of all you have to make sure that you are on the latest version of any 10 so right now i'm on version 1.107.2 but make sure that you are on the latest one like 106.3 something like that uh, and to just check it if you are on the latest version first you can go and check the webhook node and go to the settings and you can see that webhook node should be on the latest one so that's the that's how you are able to stream the response so let me show you in na10 what exactly you have to done to enable your ai agent to stream so if you are connecting na10 agent with bubble you must be known that we are, can connect na10 calls with the webhook this is what we call a ai agent node and this is the chat trigger our ai agent to stream based on our use case we have to enable streaming options uh, using the webhook call and then i'll show you even with the chat trigger so n n using webhook that i will prefer the same thing that you should connect with the webhook else you can just connect the same thing with chat trigger but i'll prefer to use it the webhook so you have to go and select the streaming option from the drop down that is the first one that you have to take care then similarly you have to go to the ai agent and in ai agent you'll see one more option you can just add option and you'll see the option from here for example let me show you again and enable the streaming for the ai agent node. that's it that you have to do in na10 the rest of all the setup is going to be done inside bubble the previous app that i have built for the same thing so i have created the setup input box and the send message button and over here this is the text that where i'm streaming the book so we just have to add the api connector plugin and have the anaton streaming api call so similarly how we connect other webhook calls or api apis in api connector we have to do the same thing uh, fancy over here so it's going to be the webhook of your anaton instance and uh, just to use is as an action and the specific thing that i we need to mention is that data type should be stream over here because we have to stream the responses and here is the format inside anaton so whatever json format we are building over here it should be same that we get inside uh, anaton we can set up the same thing inside the ai agent and stream and the chat id so i can i have to pass the message over here and link up to the ai agent similarly if i want to add the id so i can just connect it with the json chat id in the bubble as matchable no, that's it so we have to just to paste the webhook it is going to the post call and specifically use as an action and data type should be streaming because we have to stream the response and the body like what we are going to pass over here whatever response we are getting in any 10 we just have to map it with the ai agent so that will not be the problem once you do this you have to reinitialize the call i'm reinitializing call so you will see that when the streaming is enabled in any 10 so you get the response in this format this is a particular kind of json format is that this content like among this json chunk we need the content to be streaming so click on the setting first setting and select the operation push to text stream so over here i have created a response field where this field is actually responsible for getting the all the content in the form of stream inside bubble so i have just named it text stream you can name it anything else and over here i have also set it text stream because it is, it is something that we are going to stream and then i'm going to save it simple now we have to again go back to the editor input box the send message button stream text the response field to be text stream so i have just selected the same thing we are getting the text stream 
because this is responsible for getting this uh, text from any text. From there, I am getting the parent script text stream text so far. We have two things text so far and the full text. If you click on the full text, then it is going to just wait for the full response and then just give you the full text. If you select the text so far, well, for getting the real time responses from n and showing it directly on the n so that's how we are able to see the responses in real time in bubble, uh, bubble and you are good to go so that's it if i again refresh the page all of these things are happening okay. so if i send the message now you can see that it is writing the python thing that we are going to get in this almost streaming responses that you just have to set up a call just that can stream the responses and then set up the same inside uh, what we got on the front end i will give you this workflow uh, just for the demo purposes so that you can test it out on your own and along with the i will also share this application editor link the another important thing that i forgot to mention before is that uh, uh, when you're setting this in the front end uh, all of these things are right we have talked it already so when we click on the send message and just see the workflow of it we'll just make an api call that uh, we already understood like how to stream and after that you also have to do one more thing uh, that displaying the same text stream and that is going to be mapped with the result that we are getting from the step number one text stream so that's it so in the end i want to show you one more thing that inside of api connector right now you can see that i have using the webhook of my nitin instance this one but i have created this workflow in a way that even if you don't want to use the webhook you can directly use the chat url using chat trigger you can connect your nitin agent using the chat trigger so what you have to do is you have to just add the chat trigger node make it publicly enable and select the response mode at the streaming copy the link that i'm going to do in right in front of you and then you have to go over here and i'm just showing you that in front of you that instead of webhook right now i have changed it to chat trigger and now you can see that if i send the message it will still going to work let's see so i'm sending a message hey how are you and press send so now you will see that it is still sending the response back to me the way i want so just want to show you you can set up in both ways and this is how you can set up so if you like the video uh, understand everything like how you can connect please give feedback and your comment section and i'll try to improve as much as i can see you